Welcome back to the channel and today I'm showing you what you can expect out of Lufthansa First Class on their 747-8 on the Buenos Aires to Frankfurt Germany route. Um, this is a first for me in First Class. Now I've flown Lufthansa First before a couple of times um, on uh, shorter routes but this is actually one of the longer routes that uh, Lufthansa offers in first class. This is a 13 and a half hour flight from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Frankfurt, Germany. And a first for me is I had the whole cabin to myself. It was just me. Um, here I'm kind of talking to the flight attendant, Anka, which I'll tell you about later. She was excellent. Um, and she basically told me I could dance, <laughs> really do anything I wanted with first class to myself. and really the first time I've had a whole cabin of service to myself and it was it's a it really felt more like a private jet experience in, in Lufthansa first here when you have it to yourself um, so I, I chose seat 1k that was the seat I was seated in but I was able to sleep in a different seat 1a across the uh, across the uh, walkway here which I'll show you a little bit more about that later so you can see there's no overhead bin space across the middle seats it's a 121 one configuration, but 1A and 1K are by themselves up front as the nose uh, narrows out because you're basically at the front of the plane ahead of the pilots even on the lower deck of the 747. So detailed look at the seat here. Seat is really wide. It's super comfortable. Um, it's one of the best sleeping seats that I've had overall in just in my flying career period. So you here you've got a uh, place where you can put a water bottle there so you got some storage there in the back compartment here you've got the headphones uh, the Bose headphones which are suffice suffice enough I mean I have some my personal Bose headphones but these were good enough to watch uh, movies on their in-flight entertainment there now one thing to note about this seat you actually kind of not pictured here I really don't I don't think I really get a good picture of it but you essentially get four windows but here you've got the button with the window shade and then another button that makes it completely dark. Something I wish they did with the Dreamliners, <laughs> which was to me one of the biggest fail of windows um, out there with the Dreamliner. So pre-departure beverage beverages were offered. Champagne choice, you have a champagne here. Uh, two choices, no rosé, they didn't have that. You've got the macadamia nuts and the uh, Remoa luggage amenity kit, which I love that. I'm not one who usually keeps them, but I'll keep that one. Got the fresh Lufthansa Rose, which is a lovely touch. You do have the uh, Van Lack pajamas. They had large or extra large. I got the large and even those were, were huge. <laughs> so, yeah, you probably want to go with the smaller size on those. And they have the slippers as well. With a spacious bathroom to change into, which I'll show you later. You've got the ottoman here. So there's more storage for you that you can use. Put your shoes in there. Tablet. I mean, some other miscellaneous things. Probably not enough for a your backpack or carry-on bag, but this is movable, which I'll show you here in a, in a little bit. And me just pushing buttons to see what see what it does. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a light there, but probably hard to see in the daytime. Um, you got it here. You got the uh, safety card, a barf bag in case you get sick. Here you've got the in-flight entertainment remote, which is definitely you definitely need because it's too far to to uh, try to push the touch screen. You really have to unbuckle your seatbelt to get to that and you've got some volume controls in front of that. Here you've got some basic seat controls on the front when you flip this up you've got more um, detailed seat controls and to move the ottoman as well and the privacy shield which I'll show you. So you can see me curious about that but yeah uh, that's another clip. So here is how you move the ottoman so you can move it closer to you and back closer to the wall if you want to lay your feet up on that. So that's pretty convenient, the moving ottoman, although they say nobody should sit there. Now, one thing to note, this uh, aircraft does not have individual air vents. So in Lufthansa kept this cabin hot. I will say that uh, it was pretty hot throughout the night. So it's controlled overall by um, the flight attendant essentially. So here's the privacy shield going up. As you can see, this isn't a, a really private first class cabin in general, but 
putting that shield up, yeah, you you know, that works. I mean, you, you wouldn't be able to see the person in 1A if there was a person there when you lift it all the way up. So it becomes semi-private because these aren't suites. So it's not the most modern first class, but to me, it's 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 a luxurious one nonetheless. And the service is the showstopper here. So a little bit more on the seat here. You've got the inflatable life raft when you pull that out, if you need it to swim. And on the other side, you have uh, the charging some some USB ports and some regular plugs there to plug in to keep your devices charged. Um, and here's the neat little trick for the tray table. So one that you, you push the magic button and boom, you've got a tray table and a large one at that. So it can hold quite a bit of uh, a bit of food there and it slides pretty far back and forth. So it allows you to um, get out and you, you know, if you need to use the bathroom. So. I will leave you with the takeoff and I'll catch you in the skies for the rest of the review. take a look at the laboratory in first class uh, really nice laboratory here just some good engineering good German engineering here is you can pull down the changing station if you need to change your child yeah you got some toilet sanitizer I guess it's just me so if I need that then and there's no hiding any mess I've made um, here's doubles as a seat but when you flip it up that's how you use the bathroom here, and it does have the window in the bathroom, similar to the 787 um, on certain carriers that it has, but it's a nice option to me with the window there. And here you go, large mirror, a sink, but yeah, very nice and easy to change into your pajamas. And they do have the rows in here. So very easy to change into your pajamas in this, this bathroom. So just here is just a just a look at just crazy, right? Just to be alone in first class. This is what it looks like. For you to be the only person sitting in first class. So I definitely savored the moment. Um I was able to get a little workout in during the night hours. <laughs> Let's say that and um, the in-flight entertainment. Now, to me, this is one part where it kind of lacks. I mean, yeah, I wish that the screen really isn't that, yeah, it's not that clear. I mean, yeah, you really have to close the windows all to get all the glare off, but I, mean, I know that'll happen with any screen, but it's not too sharp of a screen, <clears throat> in my opinion. So it's not too competitive in in-flight entertainment with what's being offered in, I mean, some of the, the better business classes like Qatar, um, ANA, their new business class, you know, it, to me, it's not that competitive. Uh, as far as the movies that they had available, I mean, not, not a bad selection, but not a huge library, in my opinion. Um, you do have audio books and games, tons of info, flight info. I'll just kind of peruse through some of the options there. Yeah, but I mean, for this product, I think 
they could do better with the uh, in-flight entertainment piece of it. I mean, if that's a knock on the product, but I mean, overall, it's a wonderful product because really the service is the um, the showstopper in this. So you do have the flight camera. Um, you have the down camera option and the forward facing uh, camera option as well. One thing that's interesting about the forward facing, I'm guessing this must be at the bottom of the aircraft. I know most forward facing seem to be where you can actually see the plane, but not this one. So if you're an av geek and looking to see the plane while you're rolling and possibly the four engines you want with this camera on the 747-8 from Lufthansa. So let's talk about the food. Um, got the first class menu here with all the options. I mean, essentially, yeah, all the options were were taken. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, with me being the only passenger, yeah, I essentially had everything on the menu. You say for a few things, but um, you've got the appetizers here. Now it says choice, but yeah, I, I took the caviar service. Um, yeah, essentially had everything on the menu. Now, not, not everything. Like I say, save for a couple of things. I did end up with the uh, gnocchi, the spinach and ricotta gnocchi for dinner, but yeah, I didn't choose any other main courses there. And you can see the options for breakfast there, which I'll show you later on in the review. So yeah, you'll, you'll stay full on this flight. I mean, you won't go hungry for sure with the amount of food there <laughs> they're giving out and just the service again with one person. it's. I mean, again, it's like a private jet service. So here's the champagne and um, wine list there. So yeah, the first champagne above, that's what was given out um, for the pre-departure beverage. They didn't have the uh, bottom de rosé option. They didn't have the confetti. And here's the white wine options. red wine options, which I did end up having a glass of the Chateau Latour Martillac red wine, and some dessert wine options as well. I didn't didn't have any of those or the port. So yeah, I didn't try everything. Yeah, I think if I tried everything, I probably wouldn't have been able to get off the flight. There's the, the options for spirits on the flight. So here you start out with the amuse-bouche and with the nice uh, plated fork there. Well, not plated, but napkin wrapped fork. And there's the glass of the Chateau La Tour Martillac with a glass of water sitting beside it. So here's the caviar service. So you start with the caviar service after the amuse-bouche. Uh, you've got garlic bread, fresh garlic bread. Yeah, I know, right? In these times, it's, it's, it's refreshing to see. Um, some chopped onions there, got some crispy toast in order to spread your uh, caviar on. Some nice uh, salt and pepper shakers from Lufthansa, butter, olive oil. You've got the kind of egg uh, egg white mix there with sour cream. And there's a glass of the Cuvée Grand Cycle. For appetizers, uh, essentially, yeah, the turkey, yeah, turkey and some kind of sauce. That was okay, but I love this uh, mozzarella and tomato and that sauce and the smoked salmon uh, was really good as well. So then I had a garden salad, pretty plain there with uh, olive oil for dressing, but not bad though. And here was my main course, the gnocchi, Parmesan cheese on top and uh, shiitake mushrooms. This was really good. Yeah, I found this dish really to be good uh, it's a good choice and for dessert I had the ice cream with the it's supposed to be as you can see me by now I'm looking for the eruption of the volcano it's supposed to be like a volcano of uh, dulce de leche but yeah I didn't see it spewing out like lava but nonetheless it was very good as well though I found that the catering out of Aceza in Buenos Aires is really good on all airlines I found so after that I had a little tea service there it's chamomile tea After that, 
cheese and crackers, which is yeah, a cheese selection. I mean, it's really good. Had some grapes here. We've got blue cheese, brie, Parmesan, and this red stuff. It's kind of a sweet, little sweet mix there of um, like tomatoes and stuff was really good. So here's what I was talking about. So I was seated in 1K. That was my seat. But again, with first class being empty, I was able to have my bed made for 1A. Some nighttime chocolates to help me sleep. And just to kind of show you a point of view of how, how it looks when you're laying flat there in the bed. Very wide and comfortable bed on the Lufthansa first class. So got really good sleep. I think a total of seven hours. Here's the ambient lighting up top there. Just to give you an idea of the mood lighting there. So for breakfast, here I had a bread roll, so yeah, unlimited bread was available. This fresh scrambled eggs with the bacon, grilled tomato and salmon, and the berry smoothie. Just the breakfast was excellent. Um, like I say really the food was just overall excellent. And the only thing I think I really didn't like was the turkey part of the appetizer. I mean, it wasn't that tasteful, but overall the, the um, food the food quality is what you would expect from a first class fight flight overall um kind of my final thoughts um like i said the cabin the cabin was warm a little bit um i found that so having all the blankets on you while sleeping you might wake up a little hot a little sweaty but there's uh no worries because you can take a shower not unfortunately not on this plane but when you land in the first class lounge in frankfurt um, one thing to note, I didn't talk about the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi wasn't loaded on this flight. Uh, not a big deal to me. Didn't I didn't plan on using it. Uh, but one thing that really stood out was the flight attendant, Anka. Uh, I talked to her a little bit and she's been with Lufthansa for 27 years. And I mean, the service and attention to detail is second to none. Uh, really one of the best flight attendant experiences I've had in uh, all of my miles of flying. So, um Really impressive experience here in first class in Lufthansa. It's been a couple of years, uh, a few years I actually, I think since 2018 since I've flown Lufthansa first. And to fly it on such a long route is really a pleasure um, to be able to do. So um, that was my experience in Lufthansa first class on the 747-8 from Buenos Aires to Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, please. Please give this video a like, share it with somebody who you know maybe will have the experience or maybe this rekindles an experience for you or them. Um, and please consider subscribing. We've got some really good reviews coming up, some more Lufthansa product, um, some more business class products as well that uh, maybe you haven't seen or experienced or look forward to experiencing. So I really appreciate you watching the video and I will leave you with the landing into Frankfurt, Germany. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.